Hey everybody. I have been working with something that I've seen people who do jewelry use and people who are into chain mail use and I thought I think I could knit with these so I ordered what I'm calling dragon scales and what they are is just little aluminum scale like little things they're made out of aluminum the ones I ordered are brushed metal I ordered a hundred in a lot of different colors these are the small size scales and I have been making stuff with them and I am making a dice bag for Dungeons and Dragon players who need to carry their dice around I am making a little dice bag out of my scales I made a bigger one here already finished this one it's a fun project and uh, I'm really enjoying working with these and trying to think of things I can make so yeah I have my dice in here I'm ready to go so I made this dice bag and then I made a set of bracers that go around your wrist I'll have to show you I made a pair of them I ordered a bunch of different colors I just ordered a hundred of each color and uh, just to play with them to see if I like them and I'm having so much fun doing these these projects that I think I'm gonna order some more and I'm going to put together some patterns and this will be my first pattern I'm gonna go ahead and put this pattern on the description for this video and I'll also have it written out here in just a minute so that you can see and make your own set of bracers it's super easy I'm gonna show you how to get the, the uh, dragon scales onto your knitting I just did garter stitch so I just knit every row and I think they look pretty cool so you can make all kinds of things out of these and I would be very happy to see what you might create with them but I thought I would show you how I'm putting them on you can put them on knit wise or you can put them on purl wise and I'm going to show you both ways I am using on this dice bag that I'm making I am knitting in the round I have one size 8 needle and I'm using the magic loop method so I'm only using one set one needle and I'll show you how I'm doing it I'm using black worsted weight yarn just black worsted weight yarn you can use whatever you want I'm finding that the worsted weight yarn is working great I made a bag using sock yarn and it did not work out as well so this uh, worsted weights working great this is the beginning of my round I'm doing a round with the dragon scales and then I knit around and then I do another round with dragon scales and I'm offsetting each round by one stitch so that the scales when they li lie next to each other that they the scales will lie with one scale then two scales then one scale so it offsets them so that the scales lie nicely and do that kind of an effect rather than lining up into lines columns I'm doing purl as I put these on so I would purl a stitch then I start my dragon scales the next time I come around to a row of dragon scales I will start the dragon scale on the first stitch so anyway this for this project I'm putting the scales on like I said purl wise so let me bring my stitches up here you can do it purl wise or knit wise I'm finding purl to just feel more comfortable in my hands I'm not putting these on in any particular order I'm just randomly putting them on so I'll just randomly grab a scale and start using it so I am going to be putting a scale not on the first stitch but on the second stitch and I'm purling so let me go ahead and purl one let me actually bring my camera in a little closer I'm purling one and I am pulling a little tighter than I normally would in my normal knitting and purling I'm pulling tight on that first stitch so that I don't get a ladder effect going on so I purl kind of tight and now I'm going to start putting on my dragon scales I go into the stitch as if to purl I put a 
dragon scale on my needle and if you notice they are domed they have a little bend in them and I want my scales to all lay the same way so I put it on my needle so that the little bend is pointing to the ceiling the crease I guess so I put it on my needle and then I hold it with my thumb and then I purl the stitch I bring the, the yarn over like I'm going to purl and I pull it through the hole first and then I pull it through the stitch just as if I'm purling and then I take it off and you do one purl stitch in between each scale so then I purl one and now I put on another scale I'm going to try and show it to you real clear here I go into the stitch as if to purl, grab a scale, and I put it on my needle so that the dome side is up rather than the cupped side. If you can see the difference, that's the cupped side. That's the dome side. I'm going to put it on there so that the dome side is up. Then I go around my needle just as if I'm going to purl and I slowly bring the yarn down and through the hole and then I bring it through the stitch and then the stitch comes off and then I purl a stitch in between go into the stitch as if to purl put on the scale I hold it between my thumb and finger bring the yarn around I slowly bring the tip down through the hole and catch the yarn then I pull the stitch through and then off the left side and then I purl a stitch and that's it so I will go all the way around putting my dragon scales on with a purl stitch in between then I knit around once with no scales and then I start my next row and when I start my next row which will be here when I start my next dragon scale row I will put because I when I started this row I put a dragon scale here when I come around and do my next row of dragon scales I'll put a I'll start with a dragon scale here and then that'll be a pearl dragon scale pearl so I'm offsetting it each time that's as hard as it is it's not too bad so let me show you how I would do this if I was going to do it as a knit stitch I would do exactly the same thing except they would not hang in the front they would hang in the back and I'm just going to show you as an example of how you could do it as a knit stitch. You go into the stitch as if to knit. You put a scale on your needle. I kind of hold it with my thumb and finger. I go around the needle just like I would knit it. I pull the yarn and I put some tension on the yarn here. You pull the yarn through the scale. Then you pull the yarn through the stitch and then off and then that makes the scale hang here in the back and then you knit the next stitch I'm gonna do it again just to show you knit the stitch or put your needle through as if to knit then you put your scale on I hold it with my fingers just to help me pull the yarn through I knit the stitch just as if you're knitting I slowly bring that scale down and pull the yarn through then I pull the yarn through the stitch and then off and then I knit the next stitch and you can see what this is doing this is lining up the scales on the back side this is if you were working back and forth you could put scales on both sides or you could just only put scales on doing the knit stitch and they would all fall on this side of the fabric 
and you would have just uh, regular stitches on this side. That's what I uh, was doing when I was making the bracers. So you can see it's pretty easy to do. It's not hard to put the dragon scales on. I'm going to order more scales for sure and come up with some new projects. I will undo these stitches so that uh, I can take these scales off the back. Since I'm working in the round, I don't need scales on this side of my fabric. But I wanted to show you how to knit the scales on as opposed to purling the scales on. If you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comments below too. Thanks again for watching. Bye bye.